I'm going to talk about attraction as it relates to uh, London and what does attraction mean? When we look at uh, the world, I think Emmanuel did a beautiful job yesterday of saying, you know, Israel's a small country and, uh, you know, it's a, a country in a difficult area and yet it's become a leader. And, and again, you have to tip your hat and think, what a marvelous ac accomplishment for this country. And if you saw, listen to Peter this morning talking about GE and my background in 3M, very much outwardly looking, 100 countries, you know, 3M serves around the world. And so it is a big, big world out there. And we saw references to the growth earlier. I think Deb Matthews talked about some of the things going on and the fact that the growth is in emerging markets and how we need to change. And so if I look at London, Ontario, how do we play into that? Well, attraction, what do I mean by attraction? Well, part of what we're trying to do with London Economic Development Corporation is build jobs. We want jobs for all the fresh-faced people out in the audience there that they'll stay in London and have great careers as many of us have had. Uh, we want to create these jobs for economic reasons, for social reasons, they're good for society. And so one way of doing that is through businesses like Blair's, spinning it off and, and creating one here in London, uh, organic growth, as Ian has referred to, but also attracting companies from around the world to establish either businesses here, subsidiaries here, uh, clinical trials or clinical research, because all of those things create jobs and the spin-offs and the wealth. And these are the kind of jobs, when you think of it, that communities want. They're highly qualified people, and they're very stable jobs. So that's one of the things that we're trying to do uh, in London. Medical devices, you know, when Michael had originally uh, talked about, you know, this conference, we were very excited because just by sheer coincidence, the London community, the life science community, came to the same conclusion that uh, medical devices is really a great place to be, and for a lot of the reasons that have been talked about during the conference. It's an area that's growing quickly, high margin, that's always a good thing, and the fact that it is more similar, as we saw in these presentations, to ICT from uh, the standpoint of uh, the uh, adoption as opposed to say pharmaceuticals where you've got a 10-year uh, window to create a molecule and probably a, a billion dollars before it, it commercializes a major uh, drug. And so it fit very well for our city and what we're trying to do. And so from my standpoint, when I go to Korea, the UK, Germany, or anywhere around the world, I'm selling a product. My product is London, Ontario. And like any other product, I have to understand what is my differentiation because we're very smart people here, but a lot of other people have figured out this is a good thing to do too. So what I'd like to do just very, very briefly, because I know it's the end of the day, is talk a little bit about London, Ontario, because I know so a lot of people are not from the city, uh, and talk a little bit about, you know, what do we have here and what is our, our differentiation in this marketplace. Location, uh, it's interesting. I'll talk a little bit more about this, but as I go to... Uh, Europe, I go to Asia, uh, the first uh, hurdle of always is, is London where? No, not that London, the other London. Uh, but once I get beyond that, it really is a gateway to North America. And while the U.S. market we talked about is really not the, the growth market it has been in the past, it is still huge. And so it's a gateway into North America. The skilled workers, we'll talk more about that, infrastructure, research education assets, you know, the people in this room Industrial strengths because, as Blair put it, we got to build stuff because that's what we do, we sell, and obviously, you know, make it easy. Quick facts on London. This is a shameless commercial. It's, uh, we're about a half million people, 470,000 in the area. Uh, quality of life is very important because when you're trying to attract somebody to an area, obviously they're people. They have families. They want to know what to do from a standpoint of entertainment, lifestyle, schools, multicultural, uh, religion. And so, and so you have to cover off all those quality of life things. And, and London always ranks very, very well for smaller cities in North America. We're a regional center for healthcare delivery, and, and this is very, very important because we have access to 1.5 million patients. And when you think of uh, clinical research or doing trials, that's very important. When I was talking to some Korean uh, companies, you know, one of the things they wanted uh, was access to Caucasian patients in Ontario. And then other things, we work so very closely with many of the doctors here, if they're studying Alzheimer's, kidney, whatever it may be, we do have those populations available for studies. And we're very, very lucky from the standpoint, 19 teaching hospitals and research institutions. And this is a very important driver to our city. Uh, 21,000 people are in healthcare in this city. And so that's 7% of our population. 
And very importantly, when I think of my, again, differentiation selling my product, uh, 2,000 of those are researchers. And what we'll see is that research is a very important attractor of, uh, of uh, companies coming to London. I would be remiss in uh, saying that, you know, Western is uh, not a very important thing. It's extremely important. And I think, you know, when we're talking about Western here, I just want to uh, take a little bit of diversion and just say, you know, I just want to thank the IHIL people for this conference. And please, I'd like to give a hand to the, the organizers. Thank you very much. Because, you know, this would not have uh, taken place without Western, and it just talks, you know, the importance that the, this university does play in our community. But also, if you look at, you know, why is Israel, why have been so successful? It's competing on brains. It's certainly not natural resources. Uh, you look at Switzerland and some of these other countries that are doing very well. And Western is our factory of brains in, in London, as well as Fanshawe, obviously. And the other thing that we can see is that Many faculties are very important, and it's interesting, you know, listening to Anne's biography, you know, she, she has a varied background, you know, from the standpoint of engineering and nursing, et cetera. And if we look at an attraction standpoint, the, the, com the companies and uh, institutions I'm talking to are very interested in that too, because obviously, if you're doing robotics, there's one thing to have the concept, but all of a sudden, it has to work somehow. The haptics, you have to have the feel. How does it all work? So, Engineering is important, Schulich's important, computer science, because it's getting more and more IT driven and based. And obviously, IV is very important to what we do. And then working very closely with the, the tech transfer office, Paul Palato and his team for commercialization resources of many great inventions that are coming out of Western. And Fanshawe, from the standpoint, when we make stuff, a lot of the technologists, they're, they're great at making stuff, and they're very capable people. And so that's a very important part of my sales pitch. Uh, the competitive costs, when you're looking at, again, competing in the world, it really is, you know, these, co these companies can go anywhere, you know, and you really, it is a global uh, world. It's, it's, I'm going to a biotech conference at the end of this month, and one of the things will strike you is every region of the world will be there trying to do the same thing that I'm doing, and that is trying to sell. And so then it goes back to differentiation. Cost is part of it, but our cost and our brains and our location are, are very important. Uh, from our location standpoint, you know, we really are um, a hub in North America. We're in a day's drive to 300 million people, and so that's very important if, from somebody outside of North America looking to enter North America, and obviously the airport is an important part of that. One of the things, and I'm going to go through some of the programs with these individual institutions because they do play a very important part of attraction, but it's all of us are smarter than any one of us. And I think that's really critical that we are a great place for one-stop shopping. And looking at differentiation, the institutions that we have here are very hard to replicate in one place. And oftentimes when we have uh, customers from abroad in, we'll go to C-Star or we'll go to a number of institutions and we'll look out the window. And we'll say, okay, you know, there's Robarts, there's the hospital, there's the research park, and it's all within, you know, a two-kilometer radius. And finding that anywhere else in the world, the animal research, the Biotron, all the facilities, finding that anywhere else in the world is very hard to replicate. And so we really do have something very strong. And looking at you know, international and attraction from a C-Star standpoint, plays a very important role. John Parker's in the audience there. We've heard a little bit about it. Drager Medical is a very good case in point, and that's a, a very large German medical device firm. And Drager was looking at making a decision of, of entering North America with a very revolutionary anesthesiology device. And that's a big decision because, you know, as we heard, it's not easy coming to North America, that, uh, especially with the, the FDA and uh, 510K, et cetera. But by going to CSTAR and doing um, a pre-market assessment, it was really terrific because what uh, CSTAR was able to do was to get key opinion leaders from all over North America. And again, we are a hub to North America, an entryway gate. And so we were able to get key opinion leaders from all over North America. Uh, they played with the new anesthesiology device, uh, porcine models, and then came back and Drager was able to look at the work practices, get the feedback from the physicians, and say, you know what, we're gonna launch. And they did decide to launch that model. And so that's really terrific from a standpoint. This is something that we can offer uh, to somebody as an attraction. 
I was kind of pleased today to hear a little bit about training because, you know, it seems to me that it's, uh, I hear more often than not that you hear, oh, hell, I forgot about that. You know, we, we all love our technologies. I think somebody talked about the gizmos, the gee whiz we've heard about, and it really is fascinating. But as Davey uh, talked about this morning, you know, you really have to change adoption practices. And oft times, as we heard, and, you know, with the new uh, catheter, the uh, valve device, being able to do this well, training is a very important part of that, the success of that product. And that's where the Kelman Center, the simulation, some of the things going on in the NRC with simulation are very important. Because what that allows us to do is to have that customer uh, train. Uh, and CSTAR, for example, has customers that come through all over North America to London, Ontario to do training. And when you think what I'm trying to do is to create jobs, that's very important. Loss and research, very important, 2,000 clinical trials on the go at any one time. Robarts, we've just got a very large contract with a, a U.S. medical device company doing contract research. Stiller Center and time, uh, I won't go into each one of these, but they're terrific, each one of these institutions from an attraction standpoint and building our medical device uh, business here in London. So why do, in uh, conclusion, why do firms come here? The research. Uh, we heard earlier in, in one of our colleagues here talking about uh, Curacom, a, a conglomerate from Korea that came and invested $40 million. And what happened there, it was a Western scientist working on an AIDS vaccine. And so again, the importance of Western and the importance of our research and our brains here in London. The business climate, uh, when talking to specifically to Europeans and sometimes some of the Asian countries, uh, the US has seen a little bit scary. It's a very litigious uh, uh, area. And we're viewed as, as more friendly and a safer area. And so we are a, a friendly place to start business. And so the, the business climate here, the people here, the multicultural is very, very important. A highly educated workforce, I think we heard second in the, in the world in that area too. Access to facilities and patients, and that's very, very important. Uh, the business cost, very competitive. Livability, again, we're people, we want, you know, that's very important. And the government programs, R&D, I think, in particular, has always been uh, referred to as working very well, the SR&D uh, credits, the IRAP, and some of the, the commercialization support, such as OCE. And so, you know, in conclusion, you know, we can see that London, Ontario, has a lot to offer from an attraction standpoint, from a building standpoint, from a, an organic growth standpoint, and like my colleagues, I'm very, very optimistic about the medical device industry in London, Ontario. Thank you.